Hey everybody, my name is Daniel Jerome and I'm here with that hashtag show at Gallery 1988. We're gonna go ahead and talk to some artists, look at some art, and possibly even get some culture. This is that hashtag hotspot. This is the one and only Jensen Karp, a uh, man of many talents, wears many hats, the curator of this amazing place, Gallery 1988. Now, how did the gallery even come about? Uh, well, Katie and I went to USC together, and uh, I was coming out of the music industry, and I noticed that all my friends were spending $400 on sneakers and like $500 on handbags, but yet $20 on a dumb poster for their wall of like Scarface or like a baby and a carrot. And uh, there was a middle ground. I said, if we could find something that's in a that couple hundred dollar price point uh, and focus on these 30, you know, 20 to 35 year old buyers, uh, maybe something will come of it. And so Katie and I started doing research and finding people who were only on the internet. And 11 years later, uh, it's sort of come from there. I'm here with the uh, co-creator of 8-Bit Worlds Collide, Roger Barr. Now, doing well, doing well. Now, Roger, can you tell us a little bit about the work itself? Uh, it's uh, pixel-styled art. Uh, myself and Pox, uh, we've been making video games for a long time. Uh, we made Abobo's Big Adventure, uh, Bionic Chainsaw Pogo Gorilla for Adult Swim. Uh, we're working on a new one now, so we take like that pixel art and decide to you know, make some prints, and uh, this is our latest one. Now, out of this particular piece, what is the most insane battle that you have on there? Oh, that's a tough question. Uh, <laughs> you're putting me on the spot here. Uh, uh, I'm going to say uh, we got Devastator from the Transformers going up against one of the Dino Riders, which hardly anybody remembers. So. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, I still do, but okay. <laughs> okay, good, good. You just dated yourself. Well, oh, clearly. Everyone, we're here at Gallery 1988, and I'm here with Nick Crown, Drop the K, because that's how he spells his name. <laughs> so, Nick, what did you do here? What, what's your contribution to the uh, whole thing about it? With Beetlejuice this year. Yeah. One of my favorites, all time favorite, yeah. Now, why did you choose Beetlejuice? Um, you know, I have really great memories of it as a kid. Like, it's one of my favorite films. I'm a big, huge Tim Burton fan. Even the newer stuff, I know, guys, like, People like to hit on it, but it's easy. He's an artist, so it's like you gotta love it. Yeah, it's just I don't know. I like dark stuff. I always like creepy circle eyes, stripes. I don't know. I wore a lot of black and white stripes for a long time, so I don't know. So you, so you and Robin Thicke have something in common? We do. That's probably the only thing. I hope. Yeah, probably the only. Thing. I hope so. I hope so. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> so, how how long have you been at it as far as art itself? Um. Since birth, maybe? No, I don't know. I was uh, drawing a lot as a kid, you know, and um, decided to make it a career when I got to the college age, you know. Um, it was that or acting, and I went with art, yeah. So. Did you do, take any, like, training for art itself? Or? Um, I did go to art school. I went to Otis uh, here in L.A., um, and uh, it was a four-year college, you know. Went for illustration and graphic design and did that whole thing, Yeah. I got a degree, man. I'm a bachelor's. <laughs> now you mentioned you said it was either art or acting. What do you What do you mean when you say it was art or acting? I was uh, a kid actor, a child actor. Yeah, when I was a kid. In what? Um, well, we were at Crazy for Cult, and I was in a bit of a cult movie. It was called uh, Surf Ninjas. Surf Ninjas. Wait, 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 wait. So you were in Surf Ninjas? Wait, wait. Which one were you, Nick? I was the little kid. I played the Game Gear. I was the younger brother. I didn't have a beard then. I was roughly the same height though. <laughs> so <laughs> and I'm here at Gallery 1988 with Neil Swanson, the creator of this amazing piece of work that you see behind me. Is everything like 
something that you found or put together? How did you get to make this? You know, on this piece, it's it's uh, driftwood that I found in the San Juan Islands. It's a, a couple figures I had from when I was a kid, a figure I purchased, a base of something else that creates the background. It's kind of just a mix of both my own collection as well as things I find, and um, and then it goes from there. Predator versus Aliens, which one are you? Uh, you know, I gotta go Predator every single time. There's something about that movie. Aliens, great, I love it, but the original Predator is is uh, still a favorite. And I'm here with Jill, who did some amazing work that I need to go ahead and talk about. You've done, you have three pieces here tonight. Yes. Now, all of them are like their 3D paper art, or how, what do you what do you classify them as? They're usually classified as like paper craft or paper sculpture, and it's kind of like a shadow box thing. You have multiple layers, and they kind of pop out depending on what you choose and what you choose not to highlight. I'm saying like right now, literally, even though it is like 3D, the art does literally jump out at you. Like I was walking around and I was like, oh, what is that? I need to see this. Someone tell me what this is. Like it looks great. And you've only been doing it for a year? Yeah, I mean, I just started paper sculpture, I'd say, like, in June, so even less than a year, I guess. Yeah, this specific medium, yeah, less than a year. I've noticed on your art there are there are characters, and they're all prominent, but they all are holding something to drink. Is there something going on there that you just need to tell us? It was an accident, and no, I'm not an alcoholic or anything. It was an accident. Um, I started with the Big Lebowski, and, and I just kind of like focused on him and the White Russian, and then I got really into Twin Peaks because it was on Netflix, and I binge watched it, and I was like, I have to do a Twin Peaks piece, and he's obsessed with coffee, so it kind of tied in, and then like before I knew it, I just did one more piece, and I, I had to do the cup thing, so it kind of became a series by accident. It was completely organic as far as the process goes. I'm here with Keith, standing next to his artwork. I'm gonna go ahead and ask you some questions because I wanna know more. What's your inspiration for what we have right here behind us? Uh, so the top one is Stargate. Uh, I remember seeing it in theater opening day when I was a kid. And uh, I love the, uh, the design of the characters, the guards. So I was going with uh, Horus here. Now if you could explain to me what I'm seeing down here. Because I'm, uh, I'm afraid already by what I see. And it's a Papa Duke Duke Duke. And I, I, from what I understand and what you told me already, it's from an Australian horror film. Now, why did you choose that? Uh, it's, a, it's a new horror film. It's doing really well and picking up a following. And uh, I don't know, I really enjoyed the film. And I think it's going to pick up a lot of traction and people are really going to enjoy it. So I wanted to kind of get ahead of the curve and do one my own first. I'm here with Benson Shum. This piece that you did, it's uh, from a Christmas story. Why did you choose that? As far as all the things you could have chosen, why did you choose that? Um, I'm a big fan of Christmas. It's like one of my favorite seasons, you know? And, uh, and I grew up watching that film. And every year, it's kind of like a uh, tradition. You just always watch it. It's always on TV. And yeah, I just love it. What are you thinking of possibly doing in the future when it comes to art or for the show? Do you have any ideas? You know, uh, we were talking about the Burton thing earlier, and um, I'm kind of partial to uh, the Penguin from Batman Returns. I'm thinking that's the way to go. Because I've been I, I've been wanting to cosplay it. Because like we're roughly the same height. Danny DeVito is actually shorter than I am. But, uh, you know, I think that's what I need to do. Okay, okay. So, picture this if you will. You, doing the art and then showing up cosplay as the Danny DeVito Penguin. Dude, if I can do it, I'll do it. Just between you and me and the world, uh, what's your favorite piece here? Um, 
a good question. I like Batman Returns. It's a poster up near the front because no one's ever done a Batman Returns piece, and it's clearly the best Batman movie. That's what Danny DeVito is the Penguin. Uh, clearly, it's the best, and no one gives it the credit it should because it's not the first Tim Burton or by Christopher Nolan, but they're wrong. Uh, Paul Rubens plays Penguin's dad for no reason. Uh, there's amazing things that happen in the film. Uh, no one gives it enough uh, kudos. So. If everyone wants to go ahead and see your work or possibly even purchase it, where can they go? Uh, NeilSwansonArt.com. My website is JCBENCSITS.com, JC Benchich. Um, you can go there and the store is there. You can purchase whatever you want. There's still Mendel's boxes that will be made to order and shipped to you directly. Um, original work is also available from past shows that we still have on hand, including my boyfriend Nico Godote's work as well. Um, and if you want to look at anything, you can check out the blog, my Instagram. I'm always updating. So, yeah. What's, what's your Instagram handle? Uh, oh, sweet Jilsa. Uh, I have a blog spot. It's uh, bensonshum.blogspot.com. I have my website, quidsquid.com, which is Q-U-I-D hyphen S-Q-U-I-D. What do we have to look forward to in the future when it comes to the gallery? Uh, for the gallery, we have a, a full year of... Uh, of scheduled shows in 2015 that you know we, we plan out in a year in advance so there's stuff coming up whether you know it's solo shows or group shows crazy for Colts coming back uh, we usually try to keep our schedule pretty tight uh, tight-lipped so but we do theme shows and and, and all sorts of crazy stuff and, and things you don't see coming and uh, hopefully uh, we're in the midst of working on something that's humongous so hopefully that'll work out I don't know we'll see how it goes but it's always last minute in our world but yet we schedule a year in advance. I don't know how that happens. We had a great time here at Gallery 1988. We saw some things, we learned some things, and I think I had a little bit of a feel, so that's great for me. If you want to buy any of the art here, you can go to gallery1988.com. You'll be able to see all the art and possibly purchase some. This has been that hashtag hotspot. Thank you.